What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Even though I left and not you. But here we go. Here we go. Gonna purchase this traditional rap oh, amplifier. What a bunch of what a bunch of doo doo. Okay, here we go into this traditional Ravnica draft allegiance thing. You know, it is what it is. Guys, you get a haircut tomorrow at, at 1.30. And by the time you see this, I'll, it'll be done. If you're watching this on YouTube. So I'm either leaning towards Spirit of the Spires or Get the Point. Hmm. Uh, Mike will not be back. Mike had to go to his parents' house for dinner. I'm actually going to raise that mic out and get it out of my face. He also left his drink in here. I had to go, had to go remove that. So, um, you like the Guild Mage? I'm not a huge Guild Mage fan. Let's take Get the Point because we haven't drafted Rakdos in a in a minute. Oh, we get another Get the Point. All right, so now the the bot is the bots are telling us that we we took the right thing. There's also a scorch mark. Maybe that comes back. And now the bots are like, "Nah, J.K., <laughs> you didn't take anything right, you stupid idiot." And I'm like, "Oh, that's too bad. That's really sad, bots. Why would you do this to me?" So then we're gonna take probably just gonna take Rakdos Trumpeter. I think this is actually a fine card. Collision is an option. Colossus less so an option. Bots got updated today. I don't know how that. I don't know how that works. So, Toot Boy is okay. That's, <laughs> let's not call it that. Smelt Ward Ignis is alright. It's a two-one for two. I mean, you can steal their guy. It's not super exciting. This pack is not super exciting in general, though. So I guess we'll just take the, the Ignis. Um. I do like Undercity, Undercity Scavenger. It's obviously better with Orzhov because you get the the afterlife cards. It could just be the gate here. I think the gate leaves us a little bit more open to be other things if we want to. Oh, Blade Juggler is nice. Yeah, we'll just take Blade Juggler. And this pack is pretty terrible. I'll just take this guy in case we end up being Jund. We could also take this guy in case we end up being Orzhov, which is possible. We could just splash to get the points. I do like I like I like Orzhov more than more than Jund, and uh, this is or rather than uh, I guess Jund or Gruel is what I meant to say. But I think we just take Consign the Pit here. It's actually also another good removal spell. Another Consign of the Pit. All right, we can also take Twilight Panther. Hmm, this is tricky. <sighs> it's either, it's one of these two. I just don't know which direction I want to go in. I don't think I want a second consign. I think Twilight Panther is probably a safer pick here. Yeah, Guildgate's nice. Okay. Another Panther. I don't love the Panther, but... It's all right. It does its job, right? Oh, Scavenger is actually nice now. Now that we are leaning more towards Orzhov splashing, get to the point. Get the point, not get to the point. Get to the point. <laughs> That's not the name of that card. Could just take Blood Crypt. It is fixing. I mean, are we taking it because it's rare? I don't know. Cult Guild Mage is okay, but I mean, I feel like we're leaning less towards red. We can just splash these two. Which is probably better because I like, uh, I like Orzhov better anyway. I also don't like running one more than one consign just because it's six mana. So it's either Blood Crypt or Grasping Thrill here. I think we can probably go Grasping Thrill. I don't think it's ill-gotten. Uh, Inheritance does, hasn't overperformed for me. This is so weird that you guys like it so much. Hmm. 
it's so weird that you guys like this so much. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to see if I can get more of them. And I'm going to see how many I can get, and we can put them all on the deck. We've done this before. It didn't work out great because we didn't get that many. I think we got, like, one. Sentinel's Mark has actually overperformed for me, quite personally. I mean, winning you two games, I don't know if that's overperforming, per se, over, like, a Grasping Thrall, whereas, like, that's a really solid... Smothering Tide, definitely not OP, giving you one mana per turn. No, I don't care about any of these guys. Noxious Grudian's fine, but I think we're just going to take the Guild Gate here. Alright, another Grasping Thrall. That's actually very nice. It's a late Rhythm of the Wild, but I guess it doesn't really affect us. Yeah, take Guild Gate. Wow, another Grasping Thrall? Jeez. Oh, Ministrant of Obligation is probably where I want to be here. That's actually great. Especially if we can go Ministrant into, like, Undercity Scavenger. Yeah, that's real good. Yeah, another Inheritance. All right, we're going to do it. Rakdos Guildgate. Okay, so making all of our... Uh, this is five Guildgates? My, my god. I don't think this card's good, but people have been playing it recently, which is interesting to me. Three drops, fine. I'm gonna take out the locket. I don't foresee us playing a locket. Portal's fine. Another locket. Another locket. How many lockets do we have now? Four lockets total. Three. Three of them are Rakdos lockets. Another Lavinia. All right. Well. Consign, don't care. I do like I do like having an expose where I don't care as like Cry of the Carnarium's fine, but like it's probably gonna affect us more than it affects them. I'll just take the expose first pick, which I'm not super thrilled about, but Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Each lose two life and they sack a creature. Yeah. I like Racketeers actually. We do have a lot of five drops though. We have a grasping thrill, a blade juggler, and two get to the point. Get the points. I keep saying get to the point. Um, oh, Mortify. Never mind. There's a Mortify right here. I guess we'll just take that. I don't think it's Priest of Forgotten Gods. I think it's probably too too tricky to actually use effectively. Syndicate Guild Mage, on the other hand, is pretty nice. Yeah, I'll definitely take a two-drop Syndicate Guild Mage. I would like one more ill-gotten game, ill-gotten inheritance. Ill-gotten inheritance. Nailed it. Uh, in order to really see what it, see what it's about um i'll take a final payment we don't have one yet i do like an oligarch we do have what one two three we have five guild gates that's probably enough for colossus here is it better than oligarch what do we have for two drops here let's take out one panther and we'll take out the trumpeter we have oh this is actually 21 cards with one two three four five guild gates it's only 16 cards we definitely need more playables here so we have one two three don't have, we don't have any two drops. I think we actually have to take the Oligarch. I guess we have another Panther that we could just play. Yeah, we'll take the eight drop. I think it's I think it's just very good here. I really like Fireblade Artist, but I don't want to be that heavily reliant on red when we only have two Rakdos Guild Gates. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to lean towards this guy. I'm just going to take another 3-drop. I think the 2-3 is actually just fine. Blocks a lot of things. Rakdos Guildgate is actually okay here, especially after picking up that Gate Colossus. And we want to have less red. Uh, I do like Carnival Carnage here if we're on color. So that's actually okay. Another Consign of the Pit. Don't we have one on the sideboard as well? No. Okay. Um, Still probably the pick. Yeah, rest of zeal is fine. I don't think we're gonna play under cities embrace. So we got two ill-gotten inheritance. That's not really where I wanted to be. Rakdos Guildgate number. This is what seven guild gates. That's a good amount. I feel like we're actually at a point where we could play trumpeter if we wanted to. Dead revels came back. That's pretty cool. 
It doesn't matter what we pick here. All right, cool. 39, so we can actually get a free playable out of the sideboard. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 black sources. God, they always, they always go higher on the black sources, which is super weird. Three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven, eight white sources. One, two, three, four, five, six red sources, which is fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten, eight. Do you want to go nine, nine? White seven, black seven. Yeah, we'll probably just go nine, nine. Um. Okay. So make sure everything we we have here is. And also with six red sources, Trumpeter is just fine. Probably just Noxious Greedy, and I think that guy's actually a, a decent option. And we don't have, we actually don't have that much left. Do you actually prefer this deck viewer, or is it only for, I don't know what you're asking me here. What deck viewer? The reason we played this first is because we have more two drops and more three drops than we do. Uh, then, then this one drop is not super important to get down on turn one. Whereas I would much rather, if I draw a two or a three drop, be able to play those cards on curve. All right, so now we have this for three, so we can easily play this guy and just drop a panther. And if we draw nothing next turn, we can play this. If we draw something, we can play this. So. It enters the shadow dimension where fantasy dwells and awaits its chance to rise up and take our place in the night. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so now I can play this guy in preparation for this guy. Oh no, cancel attacks. That's not what I want to do at all. I mean, why don't you use the classic MTGO deck sideboard? Because it's too small and it doesn't give me information that I want. Can you counter this? Of course they are. Sure. Hmm. Never. I agree. I agree. That is a pet peeve. Some like no attacks. Like you actually have to move it up to not attack. It's very interesting. Yeah. I don't like that when 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 you're used to a button, that's bad UI. Like when you're used to a button and the button automatically changes to something that is not the default um, command. No blocks. Hold on one second, guys. <sighs> 
Well, let's not tap all our white when we have a final payment in hand. That's really weird that it would be like, yeah, let's tap all your white, man. Well, I have literally a card that I can just cast. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I also like when a creature's ability you misclick on it before combat. And yeah, that's I've done that like ten different times. It's like I'll show you what I mean when I when we go to the sideboarding. I'll show you exactly what I mean if I can. Where Mike is is go sleep sleep. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying right now. Mike actually went to his parents' house. He had to go have dinner with them. Uh, I will pass. Yeah, the stupid bird that gives vigilance. I've given that thing vigilance like five different times instead of blocking, which is extremely frustrating. All right, well, we have one dude in the grave in the trash can. We're doing this because maybe we can trickle, 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 trickle a dead revels. Wait, does he have a new father? He has a stepdad. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Wait, aren't you his dad? Is this just no blocks? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Oh, a titanic browl. I don't like this, and they're probably going to counter it. But it is a two for one, so... The only thing that doesn't the prize pot being hidden is that this is the ba prize pot? What the hell is the prize pot? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? What's the prize pot? Mike had to go to his parents' house for dinner. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're saying to me right now. All right, let's see what happens here. Well, now you can't. That's fine. I mean, we get this back if we hit another gate, which we have like three more of, four more of. Nope, didn't want to do that. Oh God, I hate that so much. Literally what we were just talking about. Wow, that's so bad because now they just get a free attack. There should you should not be able to accidentally just tap a card and have its ability activate immediately with no consequence whatsoever, or with no like. That's so stupid. We also dead revels back this guy and the the other dude. I was actually gonna use final payment, but I'd kind of rather use this because it's a better use of mana.
Spicy jalapeno, what's going on, buddy? Enjoy New York. You know, as cold as it is. Are you going to do something? Night of Sticks. Hang on there, Frank. We've seen worse technical issues with Magic Online over the years. I'm sure this is a high priority. I hope so. It's a, it's a subtle thing, so it doesn't feel like it's super relevant all the time. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. I guess we're targeting. So we're going to get this guy and this guy. I hope you don't have a third counter spell. I, I mean, you probably do. That's not one, but you're gonna you're gonna try to find one, I guess. Oh, but you didn't, my dude. Quench? Nope. All right, we did it. We did it. Fix your game, wizards. Sure. So, still got five power. Still had all these. Negative 25 with the wind chill. Well, that's a real number. 65% of businesses are closed because of the conditions. That's unreal, dude. That scares me because we were talking about this last night in the car. And my biggest concern about like weather like this, when it's like negative 25, negative 50, whatever, um, is that the infrastructure is not designed to handle those temperatures. Like power grids and stuff like that are not designed to handle negative 65 temperatures. Your heating and cooling in your house is not designed to handle negative 65, you know? So it gets really kind of scary, in my opinion. Because it's like, if that's a consistent thing, like, it's really hard to live. Like, it's hard to go to the store and get food. It's it's hard to keep your generators running. It's hard to, like... So it gets real... It gets real frightening. Why would you tap all the white? I don't understand why you're doing this. I literally have white cards in my hand. I've got my bedroom window open here in California. Nice. Well. Ugh, that's obnoxious. Uh, definitely gonna pay five life here and just kill this dude immediately. I wish we could have done this on their turn because then their blocks are worse, but. So, then they go block here. Oh, I think they're just dead, right? We just go this guy, shoot you. You go to five, and then you have to block the three three and trade. When you are warned not to talk outside because it may damage your lungs, things are messed up. Yeah, that's true. So, like, look, here, here's my... If I go to this view, it's hard because I don't get to see, like, the bottoms and the top of stuff. So I'm like, all right, hold on, let me scroll down, let me scroll back up. This is the only reason why I don't like it, because it all doesn't fit on the screen. So, I mean... I think this view is nice, but there's no reason this top row of cards either A has to be this big when it's bigger than your actual deck, or B doesn't have a slider to make it smaller. I should be able to scroll this up, make these cards smaller, and then I can't like like I'm like I can't see the bottom. I'm like, how many lands do I have? Okay, let me scroll back up. Okay, let me scroll back down. And like, yeah, this I like this view, but it also needs to it needs to be adjusted. This this does not need to be this big. So we saw, what, three counter spells out of their deck? I guess there's no real way to deal with that kind of nonsense. The top part is, like, really ridiculously huge. I'm game. Jenna, what do you do? You're an engineer? That's pretty sweet. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing it now. We're gonna be inheriting all the things. Are you guys ready? Oh, well, that guy's annoying. Oh, is it their turn still? Sure. Oh, because I have Sentinel's Mark. Right, right, right. I'm like, why is it not just going to my turn? I'm going to play this guy because if they pump this guy, I'd rather just be able to block and trade. Here we go. Here we go. No attacks. Alright, let's see if this card is as good as you guys are telling me it is. I don't think it is. I could not be more excited. Well, that's good. You should always be at peak excitement, I think. Sentinel's Mark makes this guy, what, a 3-4? That's pretty good. I'm just going to take three. I don't really feel like that guy's worth blocking here. They also don't have great counter spell mana up, so. You quench this guy? I don't think so. I, I am, in fact, a mechanical and electrical engineer. God, I always forget if that is the right way to write it. No, that sounds good. Yeah, that's that sounds that sounds correct. Anyway, back to the day after tomorrow climate. The grid can hold it so long as literally nothing more disturbs it. However, due to the ice in the wires, there could be a weight issue and thus some lines could be... Ooh. It's just really scary. Like, when you say all that, it's like, oh, that sounds terrifying because it's such a little thing, right? Like, it's such a little thing that could happen that could affect a lot of people. I don't know, man. Weather is scary. I don't think I don't think we're attacking here. I think we have we have some decent defenses here. Resolve. I got a I got a YouTube comment the other day where someone's like, "This draft is good, but why is this guy singing so much?" <laughs> I'm just like, "Come on, buddy. Come on. Everybody needs a little sing song in their life." All right, let's... Oh, my God. See, if this had an ability, I clicked on it. If that had an ability, I would have just used it right there. Let's block. Let's see what kind of shenanigans you have. A gift of strength. So, we're probably dead. What do we want to, what do we want to waste here? It's going to be a blood if they go counterspell... Counterspell this after we pay five life and we lose our guy. I might just let this happen. Hmm. I mean, if this is what they want to counter, I think that's fine. We get to save our guy. Like, if they have three mana counter, it's what. Wow, they didn't have it. Alright, so we do two for one. That's fine. Okay. Oh, I sing all the time. I sing every day. Every day. No, please don't use that. I don't actually want to use this because then they just pump this guy, right? And it's pretty bad. I think I should just pass here, right? Oh my god, Badger, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? 10 more subs? They <laughs> 36 total gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. Man. Badger's OP. One, two, three, four. What are we, dude, I think we're doing anything here. This guy becomes a 3-5 so we can attack and get some life. I don't think we just need it, though. We could attack with both, and then when they pump this guy... Thank you. 
I think this is fine. Yep. Badger, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. And yeah, I don't want that. So they have three cards, we have one card. We have two creatures and an ill-gotten inheritance. Not too shabby. I think we just try to block here. This guy kills any of their fat... Oh, they just didn't do anything. That's pretty nice. Alright, well. Well, that's not what we wanted here. Why would you pay both white? I don't understand what... I don't understand these choices you made. three cards in their hand? It's just trade here, 100%. I might be getting Hargy Howies for the first time. What is your go-to crust flavoring? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's garlic herb. I think. Alright. Two for two. I'm okay with it. I'm not saying we should become a society of mole men, but I bet mole men aren't putting up with negative 50 degree weather right now. Uh, I have no argument against that. Polyboosh, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yep, this is why we wanted to keep our guy around. And because we're just going to draw a thousand lands. Glurb. Did they not attack? I guess they don't know if they can race against our ill-gotten inheritance. I don't know. That's interesting, though. Now you're attacking. Okay. I would recommend you stop drawing things. I guess you don't want to do that. Let's see if we can draw another land. That'd be sweet. One more land. Oh, a Rakdos Trumpeter. Three, four, one, two, three. We can actually play this. Play the Trumpeter, and then we actually have two... Well, they have double essence. They probably have... Oh, they... They tapped weird so that they can't actually... Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have a mana to pump twice. That is unfortunate. We can double block one of these guys, though. Which is pretty decent. Sure. Your beard is looking nice. Thank you. I'm surprised you just noticed the other day, though. That's sad. I try to have my beard look nice every day. As a, as a general... A general grooming habit. Pass to blockers deal. Hope they don't have any combat trickums. I'll bounce your Rakdos Trumpeter. Well, you may do that. Fury Road. Take me home. Oh, that was nice. That was a good trade. Oh, they killed that one. Now we can pump this twice and block the other guy, too. Wow, that's actually great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're one mana shy of playing this, though. So the question is, do we just take a hit here? We could also deal them, what, one, two, three, four, five. Put them to six, and then this is one more, and then four more next turn, right? Hmm, that's fascinating. Four, five, six, seven, we have nine mana. Ten mana is really the, the, the sweet spot.
Now you're at six. So this guy deals one, this deals one, and this deals four. So if you can kill us this turn, if you have a third combat trick, a third gift of strength in your deck. Because the other two, the other two stony, the stony one and the applied biomancy are just ones. But applied biomancy does also bounce this. But then we have blockers, so we can wait a turn. We have two blockers. Oh, we're doing it. We are doing it. If this is a regular land, we can actually pump this to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and kill both of these. Unfortunately, now we just get to kill this guy. And we do want to pump twice, but we also want to play Guild Mage here, so... I don't want them to, like, Essence Capture, though. They have two Essence Captures in their deck. We haven't seen either of them. I don't want to play Guild Maze because we they have Essence Capture. So I'd rather actually attack with this guy and then get rid of the 5-5 five five so that we're at, at less risk. I mean, they're still dead on our upkeep. Yep, you will be first. Play Guild Gate. Will they ever bring back snow covered lands or expand on lands like that again? Yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. I mean, snow covered lands are cards that have uh, definitely seen play. Uh, they've. Choose target. Wait, what's going on? It'll turn target opponent and you gain full. Yeah, okay, so. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> I've had this issue recently where drinks just go down the wrong pipe more frequently. I'm gonna open this pack. Oh god. <laughs> I'm basically dead. Oh, a gold wild card. <sighs> okay, this is how we died. Inheritance got there. <coughs> so I think one of the reasons Inheritance is better than it looks is because there is so few enchantment removal in this set. just play this guy. Next turn we can play Panther into this guy. Some plumber bucks to fix your pipe issues. <laughs> Those will go to my plumbing issues. I appreciate it. Enchant room is almost worth main decking in this format. Yeah, I mean, it's there's a lot of really good ones. Like Inheritance... Uh, not Inheritance Druid. That was what you just had. Um, Inheritance Druid. That's not even what it's called, is it? Incubation Druid, sure. Uh, in Ill-gotten Inheritance is is good. Rhythm of the Wild is good. High Alert is good. All these all these are like almost game winning if you don't deal with them. <clears throat> Ethereal Absolution is utterly insane. Sure, I mean thankfully it's a rare, but. I just kind of want to block, but I also don't want to block. Woo! I targeted that bird with my... Yeah, I think this is fine. Yep, you got it. Country road, take me home. We have lots of answers for this. I'm okay with that. Next turn I want to be able to attack. They're not going to block. If they pump this at any point, I'm going to wait till they spend their five mana into this thing before we kill it. <clears throat> also, it's nice having a Mortify that does actually destroy an enchantment. However, it is uncommon. If you want to trade here, I will be more than okay. Rakdos is only going to this aggressive high enchantment. 
I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't. But also, as it has, it does get access to ill-gotten inheritance. They're gonna pump this guy EOT, and we're just gonna bust it up. There's no way I'm giving you access to eight mana next turn. Like you can get the hell, you can get the hell out of here, buddy. You can just get the hell out of here, buddy. I'm gonna have a critique. Uh, new next scene is called Steaming Pile of Donkey Crap. You've been warned. Okay. I, <laughs> I accept. Uh, this is nice because we don't actually... We can play around Quench here, but it looks like, by, based on the speed that they... Uh, that that resolved, I don't think they have a Quench. So that's good. That's nice. Since when I have a middle scroll over cards on stream and they zoom in, lol, lol, lol. <laughs> yeah, that's the um, that's the Deckmaster app. <clears throat> it's very efficient, in case you had not noticed, which it seems like you had. I feel like when you're sitting behind a Twilight Panther and double get the points, you're probably in pretty good shape. I'm just going to play this. They're going to Essence Capture it because it's the most common uncommon in the set. They did not. We win. Yep, that's fine. <clears throat> that guy's going in the trash can and you have no blockers. Fascinating. Am I doing something wrong? The thing you're doing wrong is not getting it to work. So I would say yes. I would say yes, there is definitely something that is that is not working correctly. We should have done this on upkeep, but I don't know if there's a super easy way to do that. Uh, they conceded the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess they were going to two. So. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, the reason I don't like this is because I'm like, oh, where's my deck? Didn't really see anything super. I mean, our deck, our main deck, it seems pretty good. Country Road. Just set a stop for, yeah, but I don't want it there all the time. And the, the few times, this is why I have all my stops set on Magic Online. is because the one time I want to do it, I don't think about it quick enough. And I'm like, oh, I forgot I wanted it for this one specific situation. <clears throat> because I'm just so conditioned to have it set already. Yeah, you can change the view side. Yeah, you're, tell you're telling me all stuff I know, buddy. Like, I I'm well aware of all these things. Have you had any issues noticing with blockers? Are <clears throat> which blockers are taking the damage first? If multiple blockers, um, I don't know. Uh, one thing I've had issue with is that like the same creatures end up stacking, and sometimes I've missed actually them attacking with two creatures instead of just one, and then I die, and that's kind of sad, you know. This is this hand is four drop, four drop, five drop, six drop. I'm gonna keep it because we're on the draw, and they went to six, and these are all very strong. Said, people said I would never get over my obsession with Phil Collins. But take a look at me now. Oh my god. <clears throat> when I was at the bar the other night, I just couldn't stop talking about Phil Collins and people were getting upset. So I was like, why don't you just take me home? Take, take me home. Because I don't remember. You see, like I shared earlier, Lake Michigan is pretty amazing. Oh, God, is it actually amazing or is it terrifying? This looks, this looks terrifying. Lake Michigan, like a boiling cauldron as temperatures plummet in Chicago. Oh my god. 
I'm just really glad the climate change isn't real. Because you imagine how, how much scarier this would be if climate change is real. <clears throat> well, we missed the land drop. But we did hit a three drop for the next land. And then we have four drops on deck. So... And also, if you guys are looking for upgrades in your sweet, sweet wardrobe, check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You can get onesies there, guys. Are you really not looking for a onesie? Everyone is looking for onesies. You can get socks. You can get underwear. You can get pretty much anything you want. Lounge pants. You get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. Those are the things you can get with your onesie. So check it out, meandies.com slash Frank Lepore. One climate change book. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Unfortunately, I won't be putting it towards climate change because I got bills to pay, but <clears throat> I'm gonna block here. Why would you do that? Why, why do you do this? Let's discard a six drop. Ba do 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 do. <clears throat> this, is a, this is a song I wrote about six drops, guys. Shut up and take my money. One carbon offset bug. <laughs> you know, like you do. Like you do. I'm going to get a three drop. Okay, well, if they're not going to use it. Use it or lose it. That's what I always say. I guess if we attack, they can double block. That doesn't seem great, right? Doesn't seem like they have much going on. I mean, having a Vanifar on board when you're way ahead and you have a bunch of lands, it's kind of seems scary, but maybe it's scarier than it is. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. God. I'm going to activate my Combine Guild Mage so that my creatures coming into play this turn are going to be bigger. And now I'm going to sacrifice it and get the redrop. You got it. You got it. <clears throat> what did they do? They just got Gyre Engineer? Well, oh, that's unfortunate. I doubt they're going to block. But maybe. Give me a land, you stupid game. It didn't give me a land. Some of us like a surprise. No. Remember when opponent mulled to four and still gets three more lands? Uh, I don't... Was that this game? That would be insane, right? I don't know when that was. So, no, I don't remember that. The, the answer to your question is no. No, I do not remember that. I mean, I'm, still, I'm surprised we're at 22 and they're at 12. Like, if we stick one of these, I feel like... Was it this game? Did they mold a 4? Get out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And they drew one off of this and found one off of this. So, 11 cards. We drew one off of this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's cute. That's real cute. I would really like to hit my man, my man, my, my mana drops. <clears throat> well, that's kind of like a mana a mana drop, so to speak. A 
What you gonna do about this? The 2 4 can only block one creature and everything else trades, so. Dennis Quaid is rushing to Chicago to save Jake Gyllenhaal. Wow. That's a solid day after tomorrow meme. I didn't think wearing orthopedic shoes would help, but I stand corrected. Badger, these are not. These are no. These are no bueno, my, my dude. Are you gonna return this to my hand? Whatever. What's the more important card to kill? You have a second green. You actually don't have a. Oh, this makes your second green. This is a three-five, and this is just a card that gives you infinite. And this is already giving you a million mana anyway, so. actually a pretty solid turn we get to play our four drop next turn they do have this but they have to spend their whole turn using it i got hit in the head with a can of diet coke today don't worry i'm not hurt it was a soft drink <laughs> oh god i got hit in the in the head with a can of diet coke today but don't worry it was a soft drink that's that's how this is this is real like this is real ronnie dangerfield stand-up material here <clears throat> all right they tapped out which is actually phenomenal for us because if we get to hit one untapped land, which I really don't think is asking too much. Okay, now you can tap it for three, and you have one card left. But now you can't adapt it, so you wasted a card to a... This is all very strange. Sure, that's not my concern. One untapped land. You can, you can go suck it. Let's go Inheritance here. Inheritance is super strong on this board. They can't adapt this guy anymore. That's amazing. So we're going to take five, but then we're going to we're gonna get the point here, and then we're going to deal three a turn. All right, they have nothing. Fantastic. Just fantastic. No blocks. Oh, now, an now it's an untapped land. Goodbye. Yeah, I actually don't feel like we can lose this game now. <clears throat> With a combination of ill-gotten inheritance, we have six lands and we can play Grasping Thrall next turn. That's not- that does not work the way you think it works, my friend. That <laughs> does not do what you think it does. Oh, man. Just heard there's a nudist convention next week. I might go if I've got nothing on. Wow. Well, I hope so. That's the only way you're getting in. <clears throat> well, that explains why they did that. It explains why they they put the counter on there. Because they're like, I'll just adapt later. That does not work the way they think it works. You can only adapt once, my dude. Or you can only have counters on it once. This is when I want to be Casey Neistat. I will play first. I will keep this no white hand because I think we can I think we can do it. Isn't there one card that lets you adapt as if you Yeah, it's a bio, it's a 2-2 two -two rare guy. Biomancer's mute Biomancer's Muse. <laughs> Biomancer's mutate. <clears throat> Definitely don't care about you. We're just gonna be we're gonna get trumpet in here. Get busy trumpeting or get busy dying, that's what I always say. I 
Okay, well, <clears throat> leaves us nothing to do here. This guy costs, what, three to pump? So, that's fine. The LASIK has made his eyes much larger and blacker. Yeah, these are these are actually clear lenses. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're pretty much this game's pretty much over. Which is weird to say on turn four. But okay, well, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it, my dudes. What does this guy cost? Five? Yeah, it's one of those mistakes you're like, well, that's not going to do it. All right, never going to do that again because that's, that's awkward. <clears throat> so they just double block. Yeah, we can just attack with this guy. Hi, we'd like to shoot laser beams into your eyes. I like that you make it sound like they just came to my house and they were like, hey, how you doing? Uh, you don't know us, but we'd like to shoot laser beams into your eyes. And I was like, you know what? I've been meaning to have that happen to me. <clears throat> Badger, when are you getting here? Where are you gonna where are you gonna be? I represent, hi, I represent vault Tech. Tell me, have you had lasers shot into your eyes? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Gate Colossus hangs out with Gate Deadpool sometimes. Yeah, there's also Gate Cable as well. There's lots of different Gate, that's, that's from Gate Force. Early May and mostly be in Reno and Salt Lake. Interesting. Any reason? What's the what's the occasion? Mm, what's the occasion? I saw your cameo on Saffron Olive's video. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I'll keep this hand, reluctantly. I'll tell you what, we'll give you a four drop, a five drop, and a six drop. But your first three lands are gonna all be gates. How's uh, that sound for you? Pretty good? Friends live in Salt Lake and doing a road trip to Reno. I'm, I live in, I live in Florida, and I'm a friend, so why aren't we, why aren't you swinging by Florida? Didn't think about that, did you? Yeah. I keep getting these these uh, these emails from Herman Miller, and they're always these products that are like, so like this. Let me show you this chair. This is an email that I just got. It's it's showing off this chair. Are you guys ready? And I want you guys to tell me in the chat how much you think this chair would cost. What do you think the price on this chair is? Just 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 take a guess. Oh, you can't see it because it's not Magic Online. I'm an idiot. Hold on, we'll get there. I'll show it the old-fashioned way. You see, this chair. How much? How much do you think this chair is going to cost? What's the price on this bad boy? Eleven hundred, twelve hundred, eight fifty. Okay. The funny thing is, it's actually ten forty-nine. So the first two were actually surprisingly close. Well, we didn't hit a fourth land. We got this guy, I guess. That's the thing. 
Ten forty nine. One thousand and forty nine dollars U.S. is the is the is the uh, is the cost here. Considering we have no land drops, I just want to block as much as I can. Yikes. Okay, well. It's not terrible. They don't have a ton of things going on. 1049? No, that would be amazing. I would buy a lot of them. I'm going to block here. And if you would like to pump, then I will also, I will death touch. Yeah, they've never made a paper Ophiomancer token, which is really frustrating. Because in my cube, I have like the black green snake from Theros. And I'm just like, just give me a snake token, bros. Why you gotta be like this? Herman Miller donated one dollar. Hi, Herman Miller here. Do you need a chair that looks ridiculous but costs a lot? Take a look at our new expensive tall chair. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh god. Actual dead. Actual dead. Oh my god. Thanks, Herman Miller. Let me just block here, and then like we have get to the point, get the point if we, yeah, we're just whatever. <coughs> yeah, there's no Ophiomancer token. It was it was made in the commander decks before they were actually including the tokens with them. It was like one of the very first commander decks. Interesting. So we can attack for one, play Undercity Scavenger, and just try to hit some lands here, which I think is probably the best bet. I want both of these. Yeah, this is fine. Because next turn we still have plays. Like, we'll take two, we play the land, and the ill gotten inheritance. We'll take two more, we'll gain one, so we'll go to seven. We'll have Grasping Thrall, which actually puts us back in the game theoretically. One, two, three, four, five. They have, they have five cards, we have four cards. They have six lands, we have four lands. So, <clears throat> theoretically, we're not that far behind. That's worse for us, but... We can cast Thrall after we play Rakdos Guildgate, right? Like, why why can't we do that? Never mind, my bad. Come on, baby cakes, get it together. Come on, baby cakes, get it together. What do you get back? We got Guild Mage, and yeah, those guys aren't great. I'm okay with that. We can't block your ground, boys. So we go to four, but then we get five. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. It's not great. So we go to five. We have a blocker, so we go to seven, and then we go to eight if we... Yep, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm still dead at, like, hi, Herman Miller here. Hi, Herman Miller here. I mean, if they have any kind of removal here, it's bad. But if they don't, it's good. So it's kind of like, uh, you know.
I have Paul Simon still crazy. Oh, of course they have consigned to the pit. That, that's, just, that's just lethal then. We take six in the air. God, we tried. I'm going to concede before I ever give you the pleasure of killing me. I mean, I feel like that game was not actually uh, extremely hard if we can actually just play our lands. Keeps. It got lands. It got colors. Done. 100 bits only to go towards the Herman Miller Lounge and Ottoman bits. Wow. Yikes. This is a, it's, a, it's gonna be a slow road, Brandon. It's gonna be a slow road, buddy. Oh, this is nice, because we can go cat into this and then next turn juggle. They're never gonna block this guy, unless they have a 2-2 two -two that they don't care about, or like a or like a 1-3 within they don't have anything. Yeah, that's so good. Would you like to pay for five or for three? Well, I only have three, so I'm going to err on the side of three. Thank you, though. Now we have four drop into the removal spell. This game is just over. They're going to play a 3-1 three, three, Viscopa. Viscopa. There you go. Not going not gonna to work here anymore, that's for sure. Let's go no attacks here. Get a Herman Miller bidet. It would probably be like four thousand dollars. I remember yesterday you said you really wanted to just uh, you really like the high def art of MTGA. Just wanted to share that you can right click on a card and it will fill the left side of the screen, showing you the card. You can right click. Oh yeah, right on. Oh, that's pretty sweet. How did I, I feel like I didn't. I feel like I I've done that before, but I didn't know it. That makes sense. I don't think it makes any sense. Hmm. I really don't like final payment as an instant because they can just sack this guy in response. I think we're gonna take it nice and slow here. Oh, we're doing it. Three or less, that's unfortunate. All right, whatever, man, you got it. Syndicate Guild Mage. Oh, I just don't have final payment. Alright, they didn't. That's nice. I don't want to draw that in any way, shape, or form. So it's going to be a swamp instead? Ooh, that's good. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right, not bad. Four, four, and one, four. I'm okay with it. Herman Miller should make their slogan: "We give your ass the business." <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, they do make a lot of chairs, so that actually isn't a, ter a terrible slogan. That'll do, pig. That'll do. We're getting that for one. If you want to block, we can. We'll death touch all over this guy. I had a feeling you would not want to block. Judging by that chair, the bidet would cost 3k and just be a fire hose attached to your toilet. <laughs> yeah, but it would be artistically designed is the thing. It's so funny because I look at a lot of their... Like, I haven't... I have a Herman Miller Aaron as my chair. And I look at, like, it's, it's super comfortable and it's in, the, it's in the MoMA. Because it's, like, basically a work of art. Um, yes. But, like, 
I look at their other stuff and I'm like, yeah, this doesn't really have the same effect. Like it feels like, it feels like the 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 Aaron is definitely it's definitely function over fashion, but the fashion is also extremely high because it's a very well designed chair. Whereas most of their other products that I see are always almost usually always fashion over function. So it's an interesting like maybe I'm just misinterpreting Herman Miller, but. <clears throat> so Kai's Wrath was actually a they lost their that's a two for three I guess because we lost Juggler but Juggler paid for itself we lost Sentinel's Mark Juggler and Twilight Panther what did they get back? they got back these two? sure well this card's obnoxious I mean, they can always tap this guy, but it means they have to keep two up, so they can just play this, keep this guy up to tap. Steelcase chair is not a stylish, someone is always stylish. Yeah, Steelcase are, are, is, another, is another line that I've heard very, very good things about. Oh, wow, this is great. So we get a free attack in? Oh, that's gas. So we get to deal them like a thousand damage here, right? Like eight plus two. So they kind of have to activate this now if they want to survive. Or they have to have an answer for our 8-8. That, that is an answer, sure. That does That stops things. We have no cards in hand, so. Okay, so this is definitely a, uh... All right, you gotta draw an answer now, or else this Gig Colossus is gonna wreck you. <sighs> that doesn't do it, necessarily. Because now you're... Oh, it blocks, sure, so it's, it's, it's a blocker. Unless we can draw get the point. We gotta get the point? I work across the street from Herman Miller up here in Frozen, Michigan. That's pretty sweet. I would just go over there all the time and be like, hey guys, you got any cool you got any cool chairs? This guy has to block here, so like you block here, you take three? This seems like a kind of a risky play. <clears throat> Having grasping thrill is pretty nuts here, so. Because if they block incorrectly, oh, they didn't. Oh, well, magic's hard. What can you do? They are at one. Unless they have a second Kaya's Wrath, I feel like we're in good shape here. Let's really go Kaya's Wrath number two. Well then, no, because we have, we have Ministrant, so we'd still like kill them. Our deck is pretty sweet. Another pack? My god, the rich get richer. Oh, Rhythm of the Wild. It's almost like it's taunting us. Oh, a smothering tithe. Alright, well, let's keep going. 3-0, I like it. I like it. I've got a close to die. 
Oh, God. Oh, this hand is good. Two drop, three drop. I'm game. Keep. Did he not make the noise? And Harry Potter sheets, ladies. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna block. I don't feel like this is a fair trade for me. I like the uh, the efficiency of the two three here. Oh my! You know what? I will block. I'll let you use whatever trick you have. I accept. I don't think it's gonna matter. Is why. Like I mean, like if we block here, it's you're gonna kill our guy anyway, which is fine. Like that's your turn, so I accept. You got it. It doesn't give tramples, so I'm totally okay with that. Like that's your turn. And you missed you missed the land drop me, lad. Just keep up final payment and I think we're just actually blocking here. This guy does not, uh, he's not really gonna do it. And if they use a trick, it's fine. We'll just final payment. What's our plan next turn? I don't think anything really. Like we're gonna take three from this. So we just wanna get rid of it so we don't have anything on board and then we can play Grasping Thrill if we hit a land. I think we want, I think we wanna do that. Okay, that's nice. <clears throat> I was mad for half a second that Twitch never reminded me you were streaming, then I realized I forgot to re-download Twitch on my new phone. That is... Oh, man, user error. Yeah, this is fine. I'm not going to just take a million from this guy. Like, if you keep having tricks, it's whatever. Sure. People are just playing infinite gifts of strength now. It's kind of funny. Oh, we could have actually played this for four and made them discard the last two. That actually would have been great. Yep. Yeah, now you see. Yeah, this was, this, was, yeah, this was a misplay. I forgot about the carnage. I don't like the way these are displayed because I feel like I, the only option I had was carnival. And I really don't like that it, it hides the other half. I mean, obviously you can see it in the casting costs and stuff, but it's just not super intuitive. If that makes sense. Yeah, Carnage, the last three cards would have been insane. Um, Just attack with this guy. That's what you want to do. Just that guy. Oh, no attacks whatsoever. Uh, you cost six? That is unfortunate. <clears throat> what was your last card? Get to the point. Nice. Get the point, rather. God, I never say it correctly. 
Yeah, we're just getting rid of that now because it's obviously there's something. It's something. It's one thing they were holding and they couldn't cast it. <sighs> Jesus, give me a fucking break, dude. Come on. Oh god. Not dead yet. One more land, we can play both of these. One is not zero. One is not zero. Okay. Seems good. That's a good one. So four, five, we can just play both of these and keep up. <coughs> It's actually pretty good. <clears throat> this gets us back in the game. Putting us at four is nice. We can also crack this, go back up to seven, eight. It's also eight, 16, 20. Like this is a two turn clock with these two. Two, three, four, five, six. Consign helps. Like, we're not dead. Like, they just have to. We just have to dodge some things for a turn or so. I've got a dungeon master's guard. Oh, oh, oh! Beautiful. All right, I think we just stabilized here. <clears throat> so we kill this. They have we have one blocker. We're at four, so we can if they kill the blocker though, then we die, right? So three, four, five, six, seven. After you hydrate, get some pistachios. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so hard. Can we just go to eight here? I feel no, I, I definitely think we're gonna use this. Kill this guy because it's the most threatening. And then probably just pass. You know what? <clears throat> if they have a removal spell, I'm gonna give it to them. Because we win next turn if they don't draw a removal spell or pump spell. That's risky. They're hovering over our weird things now. Like lands and ill-gotten inheritance. Now they're hovering over their own lands. Why does why take so long? I don't understand, like, why, like, oh my god. People are so frustrating, man. Like, could we have played around that? Probably. Like, you just have the removal spell in your hand. I'm tapped out. Herman Miller, hey Herman Miller again, you need some pistachios? Try the new Marastachio, it's weird. <laughs> oh, crying out loud, I'll keep this in. Oh my god, Herman Miller, thank you so much, really appreciate the support. I feel like there was a different line we could have taken this game, but like last game, but our time was also ticking down. Oh, I'd rather play Guild Mage on two than Twilight Panther on one here. I'd rather just play Guild Gate on two instead. 
just gives us more options for three, etc. Especially if we draw something like, uh... Not that, but... Mm... Green's a fine, dude. We'll just trade. If we can go land, land and play, or land, inheritance, inheritance, it seems good. So were those ants on your thing? No, they were not. They were just nothing. It was just some dirt that I had never, had never seen before because my glasses. play there, huh? That's fascinating. I mean, we missed the land drop, so. Wow, still nothing? This is very strange. That doesn't do anything. Well, I would like to hit a land drop here. Land. Five drop. Also good. I have no idea what they have here. This is actually ridiculous. I also don't know why I don't draw lands, but, you know. They have six mana and four cards in hand. Do they just have like fight effects, mono fight effects in hand? You know what? Sure. This is kind of ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with this game, but we have three damage here, two damage here, and then these are should close out the game pretty well. Oh, a red, oh, black mana. Maybe that was relevant. I have no idea what's happening. This is the weirdest game I've ever experienced. I don't know. I don't know. What, this is a weird, this is a really weird match. Really, really weird game. We don't have any cheaper creatures. We can play a Rakdos. Another Rakdos Trumpeter because it blocks their 2 twos pretty well. <laughs> Carnival's not a 5 mana spell, it's a 4 mana spell. Like we have a ton. We have 1, 2, Three, four. We have four cards that come down before turn three, and then we have four three drops. Like realistically, our trumpeter might be better than like Undercity Scavenger here. Get them cheapy creatures. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Baby shark. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little slow, but that's life, man. Life is a little slow sometimes. Beautiful. Ow! Um, we 
actually have enough mana to not have to worry about the guild gate here, and we can actually just keep this up. Could also just take it and then play juggler next turn. Or we can just block. Yeah, we can actually just take two here. They could also scorch mark this, which they're going to. Like you do. And then we can go veteran into juggler and play the Orzhov guild gate on turn four. block here because we get to play blade we have to play a blade juggler next turn <clears throat> and a panther can we just play the panther here I don't think so just because we want to play guild gate because we have Gate Colossus, so it costs six, and if we play another Guild Gate, it costs five, but then we only have five for untapped, so kind of awkward. But Sentinel's Mark on the Blade Juggler next turn is actually pretty good, especially if we can give it Vigilance. Whew. No, ooh, mm, I'll take two again. You know what? You got me. Okay, so we can actually trick them and not gain the life, but I kind of just like gaining the life here, to be honest. But then we then we have to attack with this as well. We can also just. Atta we can Sentinel's Mark this, we gain one less. I think that's probably better. Well, that that mana tapped terribly. So now we have to play the planes if we want to keep up Twilight Panther and the Death Touch. Twilight Panther and the Death Touch being Naomi. My, my indie band. Okay. I am game. Thing is, we can play a gate next turn and still cast Colossus because it'll cost five, so. Not the worst. We can also block here and Death Touch and do all the things, so. I mean, if they have plus two, plus two and fight, it's pretty insane here. Not thrilling. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Hmm. Do we just empty board here? This seems good. We can just clear. Uh, I don't want to go... Wait, I want to activate this. Block to damage. I don't want to go to damage, though. I want to actually activate the ability. Stop after blockers? Okay. I don't know if I had to do that or not, but it's really sad to risk. I mean, aided against the red-green deck seems pretty nuts, especially when we have another guild gate and a follow-up play next turn. Yeah, that's not going to do it. And we have two follow-up plays. Okay. Also, they have three lands, so I mean, it's not like we're... This deals them two, and this deals them two in the air. So they actually have to deal with all, like, two, at least two out of three of these threats, so... Oh, 
shark. Do, 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 do. Gay Colossus. Do, 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 do. Oh, a pillar of origins. More like a pillar of snorigens, am I right? <laughs> I'll play first. You're right. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Three guild gates is pretty awkward because at least it means like at least we're gonna play this in case we draw like uh, Orzov guild mage and then we can play that. What's your Laporigen story? I don't know if I. Oh, um, I don't know if you mean my literal. I'm gonna play this because playing this guy one turn off the curve and playing this on four is probably better than playing this on two, and this not until five. So. Nope, not that one. This one. No, cancel. That's not the one I want. This is the one I want. I would also love to hit some creatures at some point. We're not going to block this guy, so I might as well get in there for one. That's a yikes for me, dog. I'm actually tempted to just make a dude here. Oh wow, bottom both of these. Thank you. You are a helpful gentleman. I hope you don't have to get land get the point is pretty scary here. 50% of the, the prophecy has been fulfilled. We're probably going to carnival. We're going to make them discard too here if we don't hit anything better. <clears throat> Gerudian's pretty nice. I also like Gerudian here because... We just make them discard too though. I like this better because if they go land spell next turn, um, well, I guess they'd have two cards still. What do we get rid of? Six drop and macabre mockery. Mockery? Yeah, okay. That doesn't seem profitable. Attack for five and then take seven. Or nine, rather. But then, like, if I guess if we do it, then they, they really can't crack back for everything because we have this guy. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're doing okay here. Uh, block this guy. Take three, four, six, seven, eight, I guess. That's a lot, but we have ill-gotten gains on the board. Ill-gotten inheritance, whatever this card is called. That's also a good one. So if we attack for five, they might block. Otherwise, they go to six, and they're pretty much dead on board. They have one card in hand. They only have eight damage here. Okay, this is... Yeah, to get rid of that guy. This worked out quite well. I will take six. No blocks. Yep. So you're going to block here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you got to block, right? Yep. 
So we put them to three, which is dead to the Grasping Thrall. This seems fine. I guess we could have played this, and if they kill it, they probably don't have kill it and a way to deal three extra points. That seems aggressive. Wow. So you're basically dead then. Okay. Let's go to game two. Autumn Wings, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. <sighs> One thing I will say about Ill-Gotten Inheritance is that it gives you inevitability for sure. Yeah, none of these cards are great. If we had like two fours or something, I'd put them in. Watchful Giants, not bad against all their three twos, but it's also six mana. I think our deck is good. Is this our fourth win or our fifth win? I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, yeah, this is definitely keepable. Any land we get. If we hit land, land. Like, we have two plays with this hand alone, and then land, land just puts us way farther ahead. Sure. So much winning, it's hard to keep. It is, man. They all, it all, all the matches get blurred together, buddy. That was practically the perfect draw. Uh, no attacks. I really think of Elgon Inheritance is a four mana. If you ever get to four life, you lose clock on your opponent of the pressure. It, I agree with you, like because it's harder. It's hard to deal with. It basically says you start the game at sixteen life, or if you have multiples, you know. Oh god, that's obnoxious. That was a very good card that I'm really sad is gone now. Well, that was that's life, I guess. Man, next turn we would if we hit a land, we could have under under city scavenger. Get rid of that. Get two one ones. Get a five five. They didn't attack, which is surprising to me. But, uh, such is life, I guess. Alright, well, they're not putting any pressure on us, which is nice. <coughs> it's like there isn't good enchantment rule. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It actually is kind of like that. It's really strange. Yeah, that guy's fine. I will pass. Afterlife 1, huh? There's block here? I don't know. We take one, and then we take another one from the Immolation Shaman. So we go to 18. This doesn't get first strike, right? That would be busted. Now it's just 1, 2 in Vigilance. Yeah, let's get the life. Let's get the life linker off the board. Or the Death Toucher off the board, rather. Yep, sure. TJ, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Well, TJC, I guess. Um, I think it's actually to slam this here. I think it's fine. No, cancel attacks. No attacks. All right.
Oof. Sure. All th wow. Oh, did they pump this guy? Wow. All right. Well, you know. Do what you gotta do, I guess. I think we're gonna make them discard two here. So we're at 14. We take one, we take five, another five. I think that's fine. Is it? Ah, I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I like Scavenger with the with the potential to Sentinel's mark on it. We could also just final payment and kill this guy, which is We just can't do we can't do two things this turn, which is why I'm leaning towards a four drop, because next turn we can do four drop, two drop. Oh, Cry of Carnivore and a Macabre Mockery again. Interesting. No attacks. All right. Well, I mean, if you're using your turns to just pay for this guy, like, it's not great. It's an extra three damage, but it's five mana. Uh, did you ever go around using the free code I sent you? No, I, I didn't actually. I, I actually mentioned it the, other, the last time, but I was wondering if you'd mind if I gave them away on stream. Because I was someone else sent me some, too, and I was just going to give them away to people who might want them or... Uh, Yep, that's fine. I'll take five again. Let me go to ten. We have final payment. That's a blocker. I actually kind of like Sentinel's mark here. <laughs> Making this guy a two-five that can actually pump later in the game is pretty relevant. The two life is not much here, but... Like, we also keep, keep a final payment in Twilight Panther. So, I'm okay with it. No problem, else one could use. Awesome. Really appreciate it, TJ. Thank you so much, buddy. Naggle Champ. Chomp, what's going on, buddy? Pass to attackers. Oh, just this guy now. Hmm, fascinating. And your little floaty boy. Okay. Okay. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm indeed a champ, but mostly I'm a... What is this emote? What is that? I don't know what that is, but it looks like a chomp. So, let's pass to the blockers. Step arena. Yeah, you got it. Look at that big fatty. Oh. Five? Oh. Ooh. Vigilance? Can you you can double block here, huh? Alright, we'll just put this guy. God, I wish I saved the Sentinel's mark now, huh? Oh, Garchomp. Ha ha ha! Alright. Honestly, there's too many Pokemon. Murbler, what's going on? Oh, I love this. I love the straight. I love it when my ill-gotten inheritance triggers because I'm like, I guess we're done here. You did nothing. So you can only, you can pump this guy and then block with both and then we can actually final payment. I think going to eight is actually pretty safe if we're attacking the negate Colossus. But maybe because then they're going to actually like, they're going to lose both of these. So we take two more from the Vindictive Vampire. So we actually go to six. We go to five with this guy. It's actually a lot of life we'd be losing.
We could also just play this and keep this guy tapped down in the future. Let's just do that. Like, we still get to keep up final payment, so. I don't think we're under any pressure here. They can attack for one, we can gain one. Every it's unreasonable for people to recognize any Pokemon over 151. I agree with that, actually. It gets to a point where you're just like, yeah, I don't know. I thought this was a weird Japanese uh, creature. I don't know. Like, it's, it's just too many. It's, like, not reasonable to. Aren't there, like, nearly a thousand? Is there more than a thousand? You'll see them target opponent and deal with tunes. Number one, change from the change from the Okay, fine. Oh, that's unfortunate because I would have. I'm actually going to. We're actually going to final payment here. Target a creature. This guy's going to make two 1 1s, which I'm not thrilled about, but they can't block. Uh, sacrifice creature enchantment. The guy you're gonna kill anyway. Huh. Well, that guy's literally just a 2 1. Okay. Making the attack and sacking the Sentinel Spark for the final payment cost? Um, what's the point of making the attack then? I might be missing your. I might be missing your point. Hmm. Staying home, huh? Okay. Like, if they want to block Gate Colossus, they can only do it with transport, but then they get three 1 1s, which is a lot. And they also deal damage, and so we're going to 8 here, but we're actually going to 9. Oh, it's a whole to do. Decline, decline to attack is good. I mean, they kind of have to block, right? Which means us we're going to take four. One from this, and then three from the attacks next turn, which would put us to a seven. And then we can just drop an Undercity Boy. I think we have to start attacking, though. Yep. No coverage for the GP. Yeah, there hasn't been coverage for GPs. Uh, I think mean, for the last two GPs, actually. I'm pretty sure we're not sacrificing anything here. Like, their attacks seem pretty bad. Uh, this is an easy block. This guy's just a 2-1. This is just a 2-3. So the only attacks they really have are the 3 in the air. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I mean, they're also not GPs. They're Magic Fests, so... Get your branding correct. So they can block with one dude again, so... Okay. Oh, we should have played the gate. I was thinking of not playing the gate because I didn't want to, like... I want to keep this in case we need to get back to Colossus. But at this point, it might actually just be more important to have a six mana for the ill-gotten inheritance, so... I like it when they don't attack. It's very nice. That was a pretty good draw. Tomato, tomato. I'm like, that doesn't work. That doesn't have the same effect. <laughs> yeah, I loved watching coverage too. I'm just going to eat a guy every turn, I guess. Yep, all that. Yeah, we're just going to play this. I mean, like, if they're able to deal with the, the Gate Colossus with the top deck, like, if they, if they just drew get the point right now, then I guess that's that's the life we're going to have to live.
If we hit a gate here, that'd be gas, right? It was a planes. Could have just held on to the gate, played it, drawn the Colossus, replayed the Colossus. It's unfortunate. If they top deck, get the point at this exact moment right now. We're still not in bad shape. I mean, but when I can, when I when I name the exact one card in the set that they have to top deck from no cards in hand, and it's the only reason that I play the gate is because I don't think they can do it, and it's the exact card they draw. It's a little rough. Look, we did it. Yes, join the join the fray again once once more, my friend. Once more. You guys want to see a dead body? <laughs> oh god. We're just going to keep attacking because like... If you didn't block last time, if you block this time, whatever. Just get rid of these 1-1 one -one flyers. It's totally fine. You don't have any reach here. Attacking with the trumpeter is bad because they just block with this guy and anything else and it's... I just... I'm, I'm like... Really? Really. If they just top deck... I made a point to say it because I'm like... Ugh. <laughs> you guys want to see a dead body? Oh, Jesus. That's hilarious. Whew. We have a good time. We have a good time. Alright, let's keep getting in there, I guess. Can you tell me my future holds? No, unfortunately my my predictive technology is only restricted to uh, Magic the Gathering Online. I feel like we have not been able to get them lower than 11 for like 19 turns now. And it's because of this literal 4-6 that we just can't get, get through. So you can block what you, one, two, three, four, five, you can pump this guy, and you can double block. We just alpha here, like if you're forcing, if you, let's go block here, block here, or block here, block here. I think just throwing this guy away, so block here, block here. Block here, and then block here, and then you take one, two, three, four, and then we can, no, that's not gonna do it. They pump this guy to six, though. We get to kill both of them. Yeah, let's do that. They should be fine. Yep, you got it. So we get to eat both of these guys, which is... Wait, actually, this is four and seven. This is actually not going to kill this. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> Kate Colossus is just insane. Okay. The old pump and then do nothing. All right, sounds good. Well, don't forget they're also going to gain a bunch of triggers from this. They're going to gain like three life if they lose guys. So they're not... They're not quite dead. I gotta be honest though, this inheritance is triggered like probably ten times. And I think it would be a significantly different game. Now we probably could have alpha We're just gonna eat all your guys. We're, gonna, we're just gonna take it slow, guys. You guys wanna see a dead body? Put this out there. Oh, we're up a game too. This is nice. This is nice and this is smooth sailing, guys. Great gate for eight. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. All right, that'll do. Is it going to be rare? It's going to be an uncommon. It is always an uncommon. Oh, we get to... Oh, that was the end. That was our five rounds. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs>
Do we go 5 0? That's pretty good. Let's open these packs. How about that? And just to warn you guys watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end the YouTube video. Oh, that's a good one. That's a playable. That's, that's also a playable. All right. We're doing good. That's not a playable. Two bedevils. Uh, yeah, I think Inheritance is, is fine. Revival or Revenge. I do like that as a card. Nope, not, nope, not liking that one. All right, that seems fine. I'm not going to get any more packs. Though. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the video. If you guys are watching on YouTube, you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. I'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And... You can uh, hit me up on Patreon or on Twitch. Both of the links for those are in the description below. So you can just slide on down. And uh, thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Appreciate it.